guys, my name is Mario here today with another brand new video for Tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be teaching you how to incorporate a Photoshop design into an After Effects composition and how these two programs integrate very seamlessly so that you can have full control over your designs and create something like this. Now, as you can see, we got this main uh, image off of a logo that I found online from freepick.com. And this is a picture that I got. Now, if you're working with a logo, if you're, working, if you're working with clients, or if you're working with one of your own logos, you most likely will have that logo in Photoshop or in Illustrator or in GIMP. You'll have it in some type of image manipulation software. And you can't really do much animation in Photoshop. You can do some animation, but nothing as extreme as in After Effects. So instead of just saving each one of these layers one by one, you know, saving this layer, then saving this layer, and saving this layer one by one, you can very easily just drag any Photoshop or Illustrator file into After Effects, and you'll have all the layers available to you. And how you do that's very easy. We're gonna go ahead and create a new composition. So I'm gonna right click here, click new composition, and we're just gonna quickly make a random new composition. Here's our new composition that we have. And all you gotta do is go up to file, then go ahead and go to import, and you can click file just. And you can go ahead and select which file you wanna import. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Photoshop file here. This is my Photoshop file. Now, when you get this dialog pop-up, you have several options here. You want to select Composition and Retain Layer Sizes. This will retain all of your layers so that you can manipulate your layers individually. Here, you want to click the first option here, and then you can go and press OK. What this will do, it'll actually import your image, and this is the image right here. So you can go ahead and drag this onto your composition here, or onto the composition here. This is the main image. You can drag it on. And you'll see it's actually another composition. If we head into this composition here, you'll see all of your layers here. And you can manipulate each of these layers just as you would in Photoshop, but now you can add animation and effects to it. Now, you'll also see that a folder was made here, and these folders has all the layers here. So if you want to work with individual layers, you can go ahead and drag individual layers onto the composition, and you can manipulate it that way. So it's a very cool way to work with uh, images inside After Effects, and these two programs integrate very well, where you can manipulate each of the layers. So now if I wanted to go and you know head into my original project here, all I did was add a white solid background, but I basically have the exact same thing that I had in the other project. As you can see, all my layers here are in you know different channels here, and I can manipulate each layer. As you can see, uh, this layer right here deals with this petal, this layer right here deals with the center, and at the bottom I have another pre-comp here with the text. And as you can see, each of these is its own layer. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and do some transformations here or add some type of effect, I can do it layer by layer here. I just bring the drop down menu here and I can add different elements to this. So if I want to add you know, an opacity to make this fade in, I can put opacity at zero, move a few, a few frames forward and the opacity can go to 100% here. And each layer here will have its own attributes and its own effects, so it's really cool. So you can do all kinds of crazy things and you can turn your image from Photoshop into a motion uh, graphic in After Effects. And this is basically the finished product, what we have. I just have my petals sort of going around and then we have some ball action going here to form into the words. And all I did was add a white background here. So that's basically how you implement your Photoshop icons, Photoshop images and designs into After Effects. If you wanna learn how to create this type of animation here, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll definitely go ahead and take a look at your comments. If enough people want a tutorial on this, I will show you exactly how I did this and you'll learn how to do some cool animation like this as well. If you're new to After Effects and you've never done animation before, we also have a tutorial on the basics of animation. I'll leave a link in the description as well as a card on screen right now so you can get familiar with animation in 
After Effects. But if you want to learn how I did this animation right here that you just saw, leave a comment down below. And if a few of you want to see it, I'll go ahead and make another tutorial showing you how to accomplish this effect and this animation that I have here. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go and subscribe. Plenty of other tutorials on After Effects and other Adobe products on the channel. Video editing, audio editing, image editing, lots of cool stuff. So I encourage you to subscribe. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Click the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. It will bring you to the page. And if you want to check out my vlogging channel, the gaming channel, music channel, or the advice channel, links are in the description as well as in the end screen. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GSMail Smart. I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.